The third and final T20 international between Sri Lanka and South Africa will be played on the 14th of September at the R. Premadasa International Cricket Stadium. Having completely dominated the first two games, the Proteas lead the series 2-0. Sri Lanka will be disappointed with the way they have played in the last two matches, particularly the way they have batted. The host's inability to play the South African spinners has been the main problem amongst a host of other issues that has led to the failure with the bat. While Tabrez Shamsi was expected to trouble the Sri Lankans, they have been unable to cope even with the part-time spin of Aidan Markram, a worrying sign going into a T20 World Cup where the surfacers are expected to help the spinners. It was hoped that Kusal Pereira's return would rejuvenate the hosts but the left-hander could do little as the struggle to keep the scoreboard ticking continued in the second T20. Bhanukur Rajapaksha finally got going, albeit briefly, after three consecutive ducks in international cricket, but none of the other batsmen could cope with the spinners, who accounted for nine of the Sri Lankan wickets to fall on Sunday. Another major area of concern will be the form of the captain and vice-captain, who have not looked in touch with the bat. Dasun Shanaka has led the team well but continues to struggle against the wrist spinners while Dananjay De Silva seems to be hanging on to a spot in the team owing to his contributions with the ball. With just 103 to defend, there was little that could be expected from the bowlers. However, having said that, youngster Mahish Tikshana was expensive early on once again while none of the other bowlers apart from Vanindu Hasaranga looked like they could create a few chances. With the T20 World Cup already announced, Sri Lanka will have to have a good hard look at their combinations in the third T20 and figure out how they can make the most of the limited resources on offer. Kusal Pereira's fitness will be a concern as well, as the opener was visibly uncomfortable while batting and did not take the field during the chase. It is possible that he could be rested for the third game, but Sri Lanka will also be keen to give him as much game time as possible in the next month. With the series lost, Sri Lanka may be tempted to give a few reserves some game time, particularly Kamindu Mendy, Nuan Pradeep and Lahiru Madhushankar, who all feature in the 15-man squad for the World Cup. Sri Lanka probable 11 Kusal Pereira, Dinesh Chandimal, Barnukur Rajapaksha, Charit Asalanka, Dasun Shanaka, Kamindu Mendis, Lahiru Madhushanka, Vanindu Hasaranga, Dushmanta Chamira, Mahish Tikshana, and Nuan Pradeep. The visitors would be thrilled with the win in the second T20, which secured their third successive T20 series win this year. The team has been able to execute their plans perfectly understanding skipper Keshav Maharaj but would hope for a better challenge by the host in the final game. The spinners have been as impressive as ever, particularly Shamsi, while Aidan Markram is slowly growing into his role as an all-rounder. The batting looked impressive as well, particularly with the return of Quinton de Kock, though the other batters have had little to do in the series so far. South Africa too may make a couple of changes to the side for the final T20 game with Mian Mulder and perhaps Lizard Williams the front runners to come into the playing 11. South Africa probable 11. Quinton de Kock, Visa Hendricks, Aidan Markram, Rassi van der Dussen, David Miller, Heinrich Klaassen, Dwayne Pretorius, Keshav Maharaj, Bjorn Fortune, Andrik Nokia and Tabre Shamsi. The series has already been surrendered so there is nothing to lose for the hosts though they will want to put in an improved performance against South Africa in their last game at home prior to the World Cup. Expect no different from the pitch in the last game of South Africa's tour with the spinners likely to enjoy more assistance from the surface once again. Sri Lanka would love to pull one back in their favour but South Africa will want to ensure a clean sweep to avenge the losses in the ODI series and take some much needed momentum into the lead up to the World Cup. Type the Papare and Centro 678 to register. 30 rupees per month. Conditions apply.